You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is a big business and your business is our business. Today's a special day. It is a very special day. Our summer marketing campaign has been going on all summer long. We're going to give you some great summertime marketing tips to keep your brand in front of your customers. We don't want you to roll up the sidewalks. We don't want you to lose any momentum from the summer. And part of our summertime campaign has been sponsored by a few different companies and one of them today is going to be featured throughout all two hours of the show ANS ANS ceiling cleaning and restoration Rita know, Rains is here in the studio ANS ceiling cleaning and restoration yes the, you know what you like, should like in the ceiling the ceiling you're cleaning your ceiling it gets dusty if you greasy I gets, so totally need that you you probably pay more attention to ceilings than I They're do. They're much closer. Yes, yes. Yes, and, and and sometimes my head rubs against them and and it does not. It, it you needs, are not that tall. It needs clean. My son is. Your son is pretty tall. And it needs cleaning. Your son is mm -hmm. pretty tall. Well, you know what? There are a lot of companies, restaurants, hospitals, you know, different industries that having their ceilings cleaned more often uh, than others is sure. is a necessity. And nobody does it better than ANS. They are they are all about making customers happy, customer retention. They are one of the most successful operators in the country in the ceiling and cleaning restoration did you, did you know that there are 42,000 dust mites per ounce of garbage in your dust stuff you don't even know what you're talking about do you know do you even know what you're mites per ounce do you, you don't even know what you're saying I do I'm looking at the problem on the sign behind you the problem on the site, and you don't even know what you're saying. Are, so, did you know? I don't even. Dust, I know not what I say. Dust. When you dust, uh -huh. it contains. If you just collect an ounce of dust, it contains forty-two thousand dust mites, critters, varmints, creepy crawlies, and no bitems. Why are you telling me this? Just trying to set up the stage for ANS ceiling cleaning and restoration. Until so you want to talk about dust mites. <laughs> Well, you brought it up. You mm. brought it up. I, I think um, I think that um, we're going to change the subject on you. <laughs> I think we're going to recircle back and talk about this issue. Well, we is might. About, we might. This be, is why. If this is, but you, you yeah. clearly have no clue what you're talking about. Dust so, mites. So we're going to let Rita talk about that and not you. She's going to talk about it. She's going to tell you that there's. Well, dust. she is because she knows what she's talking about. She's probably you counted. You sound them. like I One, read this on a sign. Two. Three. She, oh, that one crawled back. Three. One. Oh no, there's a very there's a very accurate way to measure that, and it's not counting. <laughs> you know, because you can weigh them, and Little then dust my and skeletons. you know, like on a you know, they weigh whatever an, a micro something of a, a nano. Yeah, and yeah. then you put look a bunch who doesn't of them. know what they're talking about now. I said, I said, this is why we brought in Rita <laughs> with A N S ceiling cleaning and restoration. They are going to talk about it. We have no business talking about something like that. But we are thrilled to have them as part of our summertime marketing campaign. And we want to remind our listeners that if you're in business, you're in business all summer long as well. It seems like, oh, this would be a nice time to just sit back and relax and take the summer off because, oh, we don't need to market because everybody's on vacation. Not me. Not you. No. Not everybody. No, we are here. And, and not all summer long, even if they take a vacation. It doesn't happen all summer long. So you want to make sure that you keep it going. And those that market, those that keep their brand fresh, those that stay on the tip of their customer's tongue all summer long, when back to school comes, when that fall time sets in, are they thinking about you? Or are they not thinking about you at all? Do you have to start all over to get that momentum going? And then you fall into the very dangerous habit. So we took the summer off. We try to pick it up through the fall. But it takes a little bit of time. And then we know the holidays are coming. And so we kind of pull back. So here's the deal. If you give up now, you pretty much give up the whole second half of the year. And so look at your numbers. Look at your goals. Is this where you want it to be? 
Mm. Probably not. Hopefully you're halfway there. Maybe you're a little further of the way there. But don't stop now. Let's keep this going. So stay tuned. All two hours we'll be giving you summertime getting tips. We'll be featuring ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration, um, getting you in touch with them bringing in the experts to talk about stuff that Eric and I are not experts at. 42,000 dust mites per ounce. You might be an expert at that, actually, now that I've given it a moment to sink in. You're kind of an, a buggy, expert, creepy, crawler kind of guy. No. Yeah, creepy, buggy. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Hi, ladies. This is Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've been nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara and all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera com. Let's face it, gout's a pain. It's not just a pain in the body, it's a pain where it hurts most, your wallet. Gout sufferers miss work because they can't walk or type. Get the Kill Your Gout for Good video-based program right now and end the pain, embarrassment, and loss of income once and for all. Get Burt Middleton's special price offer by visiting his listing on the found online at experiencepros.com. The pain is all you've got to lose. Click on Colorado, search for BERT, that's B-E-R-T, and get the gout out. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Helene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Nyland's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nyland's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nyland's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Wake up with Randy Corcoran tomorrow morning at 8 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now... Back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Summer breeze, it's been divine. Don't let you 
Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. This show being brought to you in celebration of ANS Ceiling Restoration, uh, Cleaning and Restoration. You can find them more information at ANSSealingCleaning.com. You can also call them at 303-514-2666. It is your summertime marketing show, and we're going to give you a summertime marketing tip uh, all throughout the show. And this summertime marketing tip is to uh, offer your business as a drop-off site for donations. A drop-off site for donations. Drop-off site for donations. So you can. Now it makes sense. It does? There have been a line of cars dropping off kumquats at our office, and I did not realize what the deal was until you just, it's, it's a drop-off spot. You can drop off kumquats well, I at Experience Pros. I, I don't know that that is exactly what I had in mind, but thank goodness we have the queen of kumquat marketing and all media marketing, Pam Atherton, who joins us every month here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Hey, Pam. Hi, how are you? Pam, we're doing just Jim Dandy. How are you? Well, you I, I'm doing really fine. And, you know, you talked about it being summer, and what we know is that summer is typically a slower time for most businesses, unless, of course, you're in the surfboard business. But uh, typically, it's a slower time. Don't you agree? Sure. Yeah. So there, is, there are some things that we can do to take advantage of this slow time, and one of those in things is to reassess everything we're doing in our marketing and our advertising. Because a lot of times we're doing stuff just because we've always done it. It's kind of like a habit. So I think the first thing to do is to start off by reassessing who your customer is because, as you know on Experience Pros, your customer base has kind of shifted a little bit through the years, hasn't it? Uh, uh, that's sure. a very nice way to say that, yes. <laughs> but it has, right? And, and the thing is, if we don't recognize that and we still do the marketing and advertising the way we used to do it, we're maybe not in the same space that our customers and clients are, and especially with technology changing as much as it has. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, for example, nobody uses, unless you're a band, nobody uses MySpace anymore, no, right? right? Yeah, exactly. But bands use it. So that's something to know if, if you are marketing to bands, you should be on MySpace. Another one that you may not have considered is Foursquare. Nobody uses Foursquare anymore, I'm sorry to say, but they just don't. And I was working with a large organization yesterday, and they pulled out their three-year plan that they were looking at, and they were supposed to be on Bing and Foursquare and have digital badges and things. And I said, you know what? You need to look at this more than once every three years because this <laughs> stuff isn't working anymore. No, nah, it's moving quickly, the, the uh, digital age. You know, there are a lot of people that were still doing phone books for far too long, too. Uh, yes, that's exactly. And you know why? Because they always did it, and they're afraid they're going to miss out on some of their customers. But we have to be careful that we're not throwing stuff against the wall, hoping that something sticks, instead of being much more focused in what we're trying to do, right? Right. And you know what, though, Pam? Like, we put so much effort and thought, and we planned that, and you don't want to just put that aside. Now I have to start all over and figure out what to do now. That's exhausting. Well, and it's part of that idea of being married to an idea, right? Yes. And we need to make sure that we don't do that. So let's take, first of all, you should assess your customer. Do you still have the same customers you used to have? I know a bakery in town that uh, now is doing much more with cupcakes. There are a lot of things, even wedding cakes, that are being done with cupcakes. This is indicating a younger audience. So is she still marketing to the cookies after church crowd and not to the younger people? Mm. If so, that's why you need to know who your customer is. Absolutely. And it does. It does change. Um, you know, as our business changes, sure. as we grow, as we develop and hone in, it, your customer really can change. Or the way your customers are shopping, even if they don't change, you know, the technology that they're using or the trends that they're following can change. Absolutely. And that takes us to social media. And that's one of the things about social media is that it is changing so quickly. We are finding that a lot of uh, young people, and when I say young, I'm going to say millennials uh, in the 20 to 30 age range, are not doing uh, Facebook anymore. They've moved on to Twitter, but even then, some of them are not doing Twitter. So where are those people? Not where we thought they were. One of the social media areas that we know is growing is Yelp. And if you don't have a presence on Yelp and you're a physical location, you need to consider doing that because that's where people are going now to find where businesses are instead of using phone books. Yeah, because it, it's so easy to do on your phone. 
Right, exactly. Plus, you can find out what the recommendations are. And even if we don't know these people, we trust what they have to say about a business. Isn't we really funny? do. Yeah, yeah. Even though they're strangers, we've never met them, but it's still somebody else's experience, and we do trust it. Sure. Right. And the thing that we have to determine as well is, are we getting the outcomes that we're looking for on this social media, or are we just playing at it? And this is important. Are we trying to be on all forms of social media, taking up all of our valuable time and hitting only a small portion of the customers? Because really, social media is just a piece of your marketing and advertising plan. So take a look at it. How much time are you spending on this, and are you spending it across too many? Forms of social media instead of concentrating on perhaps one or two. Good so advice. That's one of the things to look at. Then you also want to look at your advertising. Are you just re-upping with those contracts because that's what you've always done? Okay. Right. <laughs> you're, you're hitting. You're get, You're hitting it. It's making it personal, Pam. Well, I am, and, and that's what I want to talk about. Do your clients still read the newspaper, or are they getting their news online? Are you getting any traction from that video contract you signed to be on someone else's website? Has the radio show that you've been advertising on lost listeners, listeners, or is it booming and growing like the experience pros? And I would have to say you certainly are booming and growing. Hey, well, we, we, we are not resting on our laurels, that's, that's for, for sure. sure. Right. So the, you have to look at that and, and assess all of those different venues. Are they doing for you what you want them to do? And I pretty much guarantee that you will see some areas where you can pull away some dollars if you sit down and write every single thing down that you are spending money on for your marketing and your advertising. You can always find, you know, you can always find something to improve on um, or something that you just have always done forever. I mean, even just reevaluating all your business practices because there are a lot of times we do Pam just kind of get in our habit the same old same old do things we've always done and yet expect new results right right yeah things that are getting tired and stale and we didn't even get a chance to talk about it but events this is a, a huge thing we, we do the event because we've always done the event it's the blankety blank annual event so we're doing it is it stale are the are your clients still enjoying it are they getting something out of it and that's what we forget to ask is, are my customers getting what they want? Am I sharing with them the things they want to know about or they want to experience? You know, I'm, I'm a part of a couple different chambers, Pam, and this is a conversation that they have often as well because they add new events, but some of the old events don't go away, and so they just keep adding more, and then next thing you know, we have all these things, but is it really what... Three people attend each one. Right. <laughs> Yes, and that is the thing. People are afraid. You said it earlier. People are afraid to stop doing something. But sometimes you have to just take that hard line and say, look, you know, I'm glad that those three people are happy every year that we do this event, but imagine how many more people we would bring into our organization and show how vital we are if we start a new event like we started one here called Dragging Maine. They had over 2,500 people show up to drag Maine. Wow. To, to yeah. drag what? Drag Main, you know, like Main Street. Oh, how old are you, Eric? Uh, well, you, you know, remember <laughs> no, no, it's, it's it's not that. You, you said Main, and I went straight to the uh, the the crop of hair that that uh, goes on the back of a horse, and I'm thinking, I'm a bald man. How do I drag it? What do I do? I don't understand. You get a floby, or maybe they don't They're, even make their. That's so yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is All so right. funny. But you know what? You've come up with something that's current and relevant that people want to be a part of, and people always want to be a part of something new and exciting. Because I mean, think about any time a brand new restaurant opens to town, opens up in town. We all right. go to the brand new restaurant, and even though the it might be just like a, a restaurant that's already already there. And it gets people talking, gets people excited, and that's what we're after. Pam, thanks so much for contributing. Tell our listeners how they can stay in touch with you. You can email me at uh, Pam at PamAtherton.com. I'd love to hear from you. We're on Facebook as Pam Atherton, and uh, I'm on with the Experience Pros. I'll put something on their page so you can find it and like me, and uh, we can be friends, and we'll continue to do things. You're a rock star, Pam Atherton. We love you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you guys. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We come back. Business tips and insights. You're listening to the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. If selling is important to your bottom line in business, and it is, then how you sell is more important than what you sell. If your sales approach is old school and outdated, you're leaving money on the table. Sales expert Liz Wendling will absolutely help you update your sales language and transform your sales results. Stop sounding like everyone else in your industry and stand out, not blend in. 
Liz can show you how. Every minute you delay, you're losing money. Call Liz Wendling today, 303-988-9157, or visit online at EvolvedSelling.com. Camp Experience is the place to develop new friendships, connect with like-minded women, and build alliances that will help get you to where you want to be, personally and professionally. This September retreat, held at Cheyenne Mountain Resort, has the feeling of a relaxed corporate women's retreat, bringing together community volunteers and civic leaders, women entrepreneurs, business leaders, and moms. Register today at CampExperience.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. coloradoseo.com, coloradoseo.com or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Haystack Help Radio, today at 4 on KLZ 560. Hi, it's Dennis Miller inviting you to join me for an entertaining blend of politics and news of the day from my hopefully unique perspective. Plus, we'll have a red carpet list of celebrity guests who will grab and keep your attention. It's time well spent that you won't want back. It's that good. Listen for The Dennis Miller Show. The Dennis Miller Show, weeknights at 10, right here on KLZ 560, The Source. Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. This uh, this day we're celebrating ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Absolutely remarkable results with the number one green cleaning solution for your ceilings. It's called Nano Clean. You need to know about it. ANS Ceiling Cleaning Restoration. Call them at 303-514-2666. It is time for... Oh, I have to give my, my summertime marketing tip. Your summertime marketing my tip? My summertime marketing tip is to go mobile. Think mobile because most people are away from their desks during the summer, and they'll be searching for you on their mobile device, and so making sure that your website is mobile friendly. I like it. You know who's mobile today? Tony Rayburn from Extreme Relationship Management. Mo uh, Tony, welcome to the show. Hello, team. How are you guys doing today? Doing fantastic. What's uh, What's on your mind today, man? Awesome. Well, today I want to talk about networking law number 96. And this is to be careful with your time and don't overcommit, especially volunteering when you're out networking. Because your time is valuable. You have to use it wisely, and you do not have an unlimited supply. But the problem is no one else knows your schedule. Everyone assumes that we all have these two or three hours, right, that can be carved out and repurposed if necessary in the schedule. Yeah. When 
right? They do. And when you're at a networking event, some people are there. Some people are there, and they're not even looking for customers. Some people are there actually just to find volunteers. Like people right? with pickup trucks, who uh, <laughs> you know, yes, I have a pickup truck. No, I will not help you move. That's exactly right. Yes, I have a pickup truck. I won't help you move. But what they they need those two or three hours a week for your for their very worthy cause. They need your two or three hours. So the problem is get is, is getting to the word no. It's hard to say no, especially when it's a cause you want to be part of, right? And you they're ask, known as a, asking right in front of you. They're asking right of you. You're like put on the spot, and you want to be known as a person who helps. You want to be known as somebody who's giving, who can be counted on, and you would obviously enjoy the connections that are in that circle as well. Um, if you want to participate in, let's say, it's a charity event. So you decide you want to go ahead and help, and you agree. You're genuinely a good person, so the root of your acceptance isn't selfish. You're not doing it for what you're going to get. You actually want to help the cause. But then it happens again next month at the next networking event for another worthy cause, and then maybe another one the next month. After a while, you might become more involved with charities than your own business. Yeah, it's easy so to problem, do. <laughs> it's easy to do. So the problem is if you don't pay enough attention to your own business, then what's going to happen is your business is going to suffer, and there's not going to be any more of you to volunteer out as far as your time goes. You've mm -hmm. got to pay attention to your business. So go ahead and give yourself permission to choose one or two charities that you want to be involved and associated with. Don't feel guilty for saying no. Do a little bit of work and give yourself some credit for the few things you've said yes to. Yeah, I like that. Well, it, but it's... um. You do have to set some boundaries. You do have to kind of anticipate. I think so often for me, Tony, I'm, su I'm surprised, and so I'm kind right. of taken back, and I don't have an answer that is a no answer. And if you don't say no quickly, you don't get to the no. You can't. It seems like you can't get to the no later. Does that make sense? Right. That's right. And a lot of techniques, a lot of, one of the techniques I use, Angel, is I simply say, my time is overcommitted already, but I would love to help you find someone to help in that regard. Let me let me think about it for a day or two, and let let me try to get a name to you. Oh, look at you buying some time. There you go. All right, all right. I like it. I like it, and I don't have to commit right there on the spot. I don't have to feel the pressure. I don't right. have to feel like I'm committing that they didn't give me a choice because I always have a choice. You always have a choice. Tony, That's exactly right. You know what? I think everybody has a choice to uh, to to go to uh, extreme relationship management and learn more of these tips. This was number ninety six. There's a lot of them, and uh, and so where do we connect with you? The best way to find out more is at extremerelationshipmanagement.com, or you can call us nationwide toll free at eight five five I like E R M. 855-I-LIKE-ERM, and as soon as you attend one of the ERM events, you're going to like them too. Tony, thanks so much. You bet. Have a great day, team. We started off by talking about uh, mobile uh, technology and uh, making sure that you bring your business to the mobile world. Well, somebody gets that better than most people, and those are the fine folks over at C-Squared Computer Consulting. And today, Ben is calling in. Ben, welcome to the show. Hey, it's good to be here. How are you all doing? We are fantastic. What's your, uh, what's your business tip today, Ben? Well, I wanted to talk briefly about the difference between uh, anti-malware and antiviral products because it seems to be a confusing issue for a lot of our clients. Uh, you know, most people don't realize they, they hear antivirus and they think that's an all-encompassing product, when in reality, antiviral programs are a subset of anti-malware programs. Um, they think their computer is completely protected from root kits and trojans and all these other nasty things out there on the internet just by purchasing an antiviral program, and that's rarely the case. Uh, so I, I really wanted to encourage people to explore anti-malware options rather than simply antiviral programs that are thrust on them at uh, places like Best Buy because they don't offer comprehensive protection. I did not know that they were not the same thing. Nor did I. They are not. All right, so so uh, the antivirus, uh, the, this technology, the the, the 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 folks that are out there writing all this code to be uh, angry with us. One is a malware, one is a virus. What defines the difference? Well, a virus is like a subset. It's a type of malware. Um, there are different types of malware. Like I said, there are Trojan horses, which are, uh, as the name implies, something bad disguised as something good. Um, there are root kits out there, which are designed to get in there and take control of your uh, your system's operating system and turn it over to a you know to a third party and. Uh, viruses are simply a uh, uh, bad code that spreads virally. That's where the name came from. It originated in the 90s when John McAfee coined it, um, but or in the 80s when John McAfee coined it. But um, 
you know, it's only a subset of malware. So really what you want to be looking for is a comprehensive anti-malware solution and not just an antiviral. All right. Well, then if, if we need that, why, why are they pushing the other on us? Uh, well, because they can start you by selling you on that, and then they can later on come back and say, hey, well, you're not completely protected. You can <laughs> this for an extra $30 and, uh, and get some more of your money. It's just marketing. So so is anti-malware uh, the better of the two products? Does that cover the Viri? Yes, it is a more comprehensive solution. All right. All right. I, I got it. But, but necessary for both Macs and pc base, right? Yes, there's, uh, you know, because not a lot of businesses run on Mac, most malicious coders don't tend to code that way. But don't be fooled. You can, you can to catch things on a Mac. There are people that code for it, so uh, it's just not as prevalent. Well, we sure appreciate our friends in our partnership with C-Squared Computer Consulting. You're always looking out for us. Things that we aren't thinking about, we're kind of just going on our day, um, kind of following the trends. Or, or, yeah, if we went to the computer store and somebody said to you should get this antivirus software and it, that sounds good. I want that. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to put myself at risk. And then to find out, well, we really are still at risk. So if we, if our listeners have any questions about their own protection of their own softwares, both um, their personal computers, their commercial computers, their entire office, they can give C-Squared Computer Consulting a call. How do they get in touch with you? Well, you can just pick up the phone and dial 303-933-1113, and we'll be happy to help you in any way we can. You are always so hel helpful and available, and we love that. Thanks so much for our business tip today, Ben. Uh, no problem. I'll take care. All right, folks, uh, you are listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show. It's our summertime marketing campaign, Experience Summer, and today's show being brought to you by ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Talk about absolutely remarkable results. Listen, folks, look up right now. Do you have popcorn ceilings? They can fix that. You mean they can get rid of the popcorn? They can help. They can clean it. They can peck, uh, take, no, paint. No, you can't the, clean that. They can paint the tech. You, you cannot clean that popcorn. A and that ceiling cleaning and restoration could do anything. I didn't think it was possible. A and that ceiling cleaning dot com. Go check out the miracle for yourself. The experience pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Three major networks have joined forces to create one epic event to keep your business on track through the summer. On July 31st, join the Connecting Experts, Experience Pros Radio Show, Infinite Nation, and the best professionals in Denver at the Inverness Hotel from 4 to 7 p.m. You'll be networking, connecting, and keeping your goals on track. Vendors can sign up to participate for only $249 by calling Penny at 303-220-0366. That's 303-220-0366. And tickets for the Epic Summer Summit are $25. They can be purchased online at infinitenation.com. We'll see you at the Epic Summer Summit on July 31st. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Cheers, Experience Pro listeners. My name is Lisa Voss, and I'm the owner of the Denver area Tilda Kilt Pub and Eateries. I'd like to personally invite you to join us for a quick and delicious lunch at the Kilt. Our food is made from scratch and served in one of the warmest and friendliest establishments in Denver. Join us on Mondays for our $10 steak special or on Tuesdays for our $5 build your own burger with fries. Join us for lunch at either location, downtown on the 16th Street Mall or in the Denver Tech Center on Bellevue and Ulster. Tilt and Kilt, we're cold. Cold beer never tasted so good. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid, with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money, and yours is probably no different. 
What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to Go When the Bank Says No, available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? hardmoneybooks.com. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, 5 to 8 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the Experience Rose Radio Show. We do appreciate you for tuning in today. It's our summertime marketing campaign. Are you experiencing summer? Well, you know what? We hope you're going to be dancing on the ceiling pretty soon, keeping your summertime marketing tips going. Advertise in a trade magazine over the summertime. It's kind of a slower time for people, so they're sitting right. back and maybe they're uh, grabbing those magazines and taking more time to read them. There are over three. 100 million magazines in distribution. Surely you're sure to find your match and advertise in front of your favorite clients. I absolutely love that. That tip being brought to you by ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Absolutely remarkable results. You can find them at ansceilingcleaning.com. And call them at 303-514-2666. Rita Raines, the owner of ANS Ceiling Cleaning Restoration. Have you been dancing on the ceilings lately? Yes, we have. Yes, you have. <laughs> I love that. Rita, welcome to the to the studio. Very nice to have you with us. Thank you. Appreciate so, it. So, Rita, uh, you got, you got a you got to settle uh, a little thing that's been started at the very beginning of the show. I told Angel that there were 42,000 dust mites per ounce of dust in uh, you know when you when you're dusting your house, you're cleaning it up, you're doing it in your office, whatever, uh, my bedroom. Uh, and and there's 42,000 dust mites. Is this true? I'm sure there are. Yes, because it says so on your sign. Yeah. All right. Okay. Even he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm an expert. Uh, and, and you guys can clean popcorn ceilings, can't you? You can. Absolutely. We've done <laughs> that, and Hi. you can remove them. I didn't think I, I was hoping we could remove them. I don't have them in my house now, but I was thinking that um, anybody who has them doesn't want them anymore. Absolutely, yeah. That we have, a, we're actually doing a current customer. She just bought herself a townhome, and she called um, and asked us if we could remove the popcorn ceiling. Yeah. And we're doing it. You know, and, and there's probably forty two thousand and one dust mites in popcorn ceiling. Oh, it smells when you're removing it. Yeah. Really? It does. Yeah. I don't think of dust being on my ceiling because doesn't it fall? It, it connects to the popcorn. Does it? Yeah, and people paint it. Oh. Makes it look bad, <laughs> so it's harder to get off. But you can get it off. Yeah, we just wet it, scrape it, and then we prep it so we have a good finish with it, with the texture. Most people like the orange peel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so I know that you, you'll come in and do residential. You'll take off that popcorn ceiling. But your sweet spot is working in, in what industries? Uh, restaurants. Restaurants. We've oh. done hospitals, kitchens, and cafeterias. Oh, so so like where there's grease, uh, maybe in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Uh, boy, that oh, that that's brilliant. And you guys have just made your entire business by looking up. Right. In fact, when we first started, truthfully, we didn't look up. I mean, everybody pretty much looks down right. because the floors are clean and shiny and all that, right? Right. Well, and now we're just in fact, people that help us, uh, they start looking up. Oh, they need their ceiling cleaned. You really don't even notice it. No. But I bet, yeah, now, because you're looking, you know, it's your industry, 
you know, we notice marketing, we notice, you know, taglines and stuff like that all over right. the place. You notice ceilings. So uh, do you just have to carry a bunch of cards with you and say, hey, have you looked up recently? Like when we're eating at a restaurant and when we finish, I'll say, uh, can I speak to the general manager, the decision maker? And they'll yep. say, sure. So the individual comes over and we'll share how we do it. And uh, if they're interested, we come back and give them a free quote, no obligation. And then we send them the estimate and move forward. Wow. All right. So you're using NanoClean products, uh, a great product, industry standard. I mean, lead, right? It's the best. Absolutely. And uh, is it true that it is less expensive by a lot to clean a ceiling rather than just paint it? Well, actually, if you, in, like in the city and county of Denver, if you paint the ceilings, it changes the fire rating. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, because, I would think if the ceiling's dirty, you don't want to just paint over that. Well, some people do. It's very disgusting, but they do. <laughs> That's what I was I thinking. I bet you've seen a, a lot of stuff, Rita. Oh, yes. Over the last nine years, we definitely have seen a lot. So uh, how about this? Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when I'm cooking, um, the smoke gets a little out of hand. Mm hmm uh, if that happens and you've got those those residual stains on the ceiling, can you guys remediate the, the, the smoke damage? We can. In fact, we did a um, home just recently. It, their furnace had been in the house, gosh, probably, I don't know, 60, 70 years. And it, uh, when the furnace had come on, then the smoke would... It was just disgusting. That was <laughs> <Sounds it>. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and it went up the wall in the ceiling. So we cleaned it and then uh, painted it for them. I love that. You know, I used to, um, when I was growing up, my mom used to test to see if the spaghetti was done cooking by throwing it against the ceiling. <gasps> really? And if it stuck, it was done. But it would leave like this little mark on the on the ceiling from where the it spaghetti. It leave pasta on the ceiling. So you had to then to get well. So then. Then we started throwing it at the wall because we couldn't reach it off the ceiling. Um, but weird, funny habits probably that people just, I don't know, probably do and don't even think about the, the ongoing consequences of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's pretty amazing. In fact, I remember um, one of the restaurants that we cleaned, um, no, we clean them like if, if the customer wants it. We recommend they do it twice a year. Some of them do it once a year. Uh, Piccolo's is one of the restaurants that we do, and when we went in and cleaned their restaurant, um, the gentleman came back in that that afternoon, and he goes, "Wow, right. it's so bright in here." He said it even boosts the morale of my employees because wow. they like coming into a clean environment. Sure, they do. Sure, they do. You always, especially in a restaurant, you want a super clean environment. All right, Rita, what else do you want our listeners to know about ANS ceiling cleaning restoration? That we repair ceilings. Uh, there's times that, that the, the ceilings are so gross that we have to replace the tiles. We do that. We, uh, When we're doing the, the application and if the grid is kind of eh, looser or whatever, we'll tighten it up. We actually have a pretty neat product that you can uh, put over the existing grid and it makes it look new. So if somebody decides they want to paint a little bit, um, but you also are familiar with the fire codes and different things like that, making sure they're in compliance as well. Right. So you can work drop ceilings too. Yes, absolutely. I, there, I told you know what? Find out the miracle for yourself. ANSceilingcleaning.com. Just click on the photos page. The before and afters are amazing. They really are. Yeah, it's you, fun to take before and after pictures. Boy, I'll, I'll tell you, you guys are doing a great job. Okay. And members of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, we're so excited to have you on board. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Rita, a well, final thought? Just when you come in and look up, think of ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. We'll be there for you. Well, we encourage all of our listeners to look up, look up right now, look up all day long. One, it's good for your spirits, boosts your boosts your attitude. Um, but then if you uh, find something up there you didn't want to see, call ANS Ceiling Cleaning Restoration at 303-514-2666. ANSCeilingCleaning.com. All right, folks, we've got more of our summertime campaign, and we'll be talking, of course, to our great friend uh, Lisa Mannion uh, right after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? 
crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service, coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products, means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303 781 2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30 second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com Testosterone therapy. We've all heard about the benefits, but which method is safe? Hi, this is Dr. Gary Donovitz. At BioT Medical, we've developed the most effective way to balance your hormones. And unlike synthetic shots, gels, and creams that come with many negative and dangerous side effects, bioidentical natural testosterone pellets are safe and beneficial to the heart, bones, brain, and prostate. Go to BioTMedical.com. That's B-I-O-T-E Medical.com. BioT, the right choice, the safe choice. Leaders, listen up. You want to get the very best from your people, and See It Thrive can help. Address personnel challenges with confidence and unleash the best performance out of your organization, team, or individuals. See It Thrive helps you realize the possibilities of your team coming together as an unstoppable force. Reduce conflict and empower transformation. Because you work with people, make the courageous choice to See It Thrive. Call Sue Kenfield today at 303-791-2807. That's 303-791-2807. Discover and sign up for upcoming workshops at seeitthrive.com. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark. Today at noon on KLZ 560. The experience pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us today. It's our summertime marketing campaign. Of course, always brought to you by ANS Ceiling Cleaning dot com. All right, your summertime tip is to advertise on the radio. Oh, like We're in one. their cars more often. They've got a little bit more time, and if you match your brand up with the right listening audience, it can be very powerful. Absolutely, and we're about to match our listening audience up with Lisa Mannion, who she knows a thing or two or ten. A thing or two or ten yep. with Right On Creative. Hi, Lisa. Hey, how are you? Lisa, we're doing fantastic. What you got for us today? You know, I am just really excited. I just got back from speaking at the Oregon Women's Conference, and I want to talk to people a little bit about thinking bigger, setting clear intentions, and growing their business. You know, aren't conferences great for that, Lisa? You walk they in, are. you kind of, you know, I mean, you have your expectations of what you think or why you're attending a conference, but once you get there and you're around that energy in the room, I do often walk out and say, I just have not been thinking big enough. It's so true, and it's so fun to be featured as a speaker as well because you make different types of connections, too, and all of the connections that you make in person are especially just transforming, I believe. So I'm just still kind of riding the wave. I just got back last night, and I'm really excited because so many people 
overlook opportunities and they don't really know what it takes to be as successful as they can be because they don't have a plan in place. And there's some really specific steps that you can take to leverage any opportunity that you have to work in your favor. Oh, uh, steps. I like that. Let's talk about the steps. <laughs> well, first of all, I think it's really important that you have to have a big vision, right? It doesn't matter what type of business you're in, whether it's brick and, brick and mortar or you're online or whatever you're doing. Like, for example, I've been writing and doing strategy online for a very long time, and I want to expand my speaking opportunities, which I'm doing, but to do that, the first step is to have a very big vision and clear intentions for the outcome of whatever opportunity you're seeking. You know, that big vision is so key, Lisa, and I think that so often, even if we, we have it, keeping that in front of us and keeping that you know, goal and moving towards that, um, you know, we kind of let our day-to-day -day routine kind of sink in. You know, you go home and you're doing laundry and you're kind of doing like regular Joe kind of stuff that you forget, like, I'm this, you know, big-time speaker and I'm, I'm wanted on the speaking circuit and yet, you know, you're folding your own socks. You know, it's so true, and that's so funny that you say that, because I got off the plane last night, and I had to go to the grocery store and get groceries, right? right. We're all just human. We all have to do the normal things, which means that each of us can do something really extraordinary. Oh, I like that you said that. Fabulous. <laughs> so, but beyond having the big vision and the clear intention, you really have to take that inspired action, and this is the piece that I think trips people up, and you made a great mm -hmm. point, Angel. You know, when we're doing the normal, everyday things, we feel pretty normal in every day. Like maybe we can't achieve these big visions that have been dancing in our head, but we can if we take inspired action. Okay, so so taking this, in, what, what is inspired action? Inspired action. I mean, I know what action is, but this sounds better. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we're just using the energy of words to juice it up a bit, right? Inspired action means it's really inspired by that big vision. It means it's going to move you towards that goal faster because there's a bigger reason than just, oh, my gosh, I have to take this step and take this action and check this next thing off my to-do list. All right. So, Lisa, what if it's too big and you can't do it by yourself? You need to get help. And I love this because we can't do it alone. I mean, I like to think sometimes that I can, uh, I'm a great multitasker and I can juggle all kinds of things, which is true. However, without a team, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm realizing that I probably need even more help. And sometimes we get in our own way here because, we feel maybe embarrassed to ask for help or like we should be doing everything else because from the outside looking in, when we look at other successful people, it looks like everything is just a breeze for them and they can just do it all. Yeah, but, but when you get down to the brass tacks, you find out they have a team of people that they rely on. Um, they're not doing it all because, Lisa, you you know, we're not meant to do everything. I, we have certain skill sets um, that we're better suited for. Um, it is It is a big leap of faith, though, to... Uh, let go of things that you've always done, right? Oh, yeah. You're talking to a type A, maybe a little bit of a control freak here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. But, you know, we have to trust and we have to honor that people will do things maybe differently than we would do them. But as long as we're getting the end result and things are getting done and we're getting the support that we need and supporting one another, it's imperative to get that help. All right, so we've got a big vision, a clear intention. We took inspired action. We uh, enlisted the support of our, our uh, supporters or tribe, if you will. Uh, what's next? You need to follow through on that inspired action or have your team follow through on your inspired action, right? So here's where people trip up. They have their big vision. They take some inspired action. They have some help, and then they don't follow through. Follow through is so important because very few people do it. And when you follow through, it sets you apart from everyone else because it shows you're very serious about moving forward. Absolutely. I think we have many conversations with the team here at Experience Pros that our number one job is really to follow up. You know, there's a lot of follow-up that has to and follow through. We've got these great ideas. We've made these great connections. We've got this great tribe. And if we don't, if we don't take the next step, it, it'll all fall apart. That's so true. And I think people really underestimate the importance of follow-through. And also, they underestimate the impact of not following through. Because when you say you're going to do something, I've said this a million times, your word is your honor, you don't follow through, 
and oh. then your reputation is damaged. Yeah, you'll you'll never uh, well, you you stand the risk the uh, opportunity to never recover from that. All right, follow through. Is that it? No, then you leverage the outcome because once you follow through, I bet you're going to get some results. And with those results, you need to leverage them. So, for example, I spoke at the California Women's Conference. I continue to leverage that by blogging about it. Now I can use that to leverage additional speaking opportunities and live events and people inviting me to come and speak. And so it doesn't have to be about speaking. That's just the topic that I'm inspired about right now. But whatever you do, leverage that outcome. It could be that I'm being interviewed with the two of you or having this conversation, and I regularly leverage my experience pros affiliation by sharing it on social media and it's kind of that credibility and that guilt by association because we're all playing together and helping one another but leveraging how we're doing that you bet and that's and that's the brilliance is we do all of these things and let's not have it just be a one off and one and done it's over leverage that keep the momentum going and continue to share it and to promote others and and it does it keeps it just kind of keeps refilling you know it's like a fountain you know how it kind of comes up and dribbles down but it recycles back up again and so we keep recycling the love and the and the energy kind of keeps flowing through all of us it's so true and we never know how our stories and our actions and our results are going to impact and inspire other people. And I really feel like that's part of our responsibility. And I know that's why the two of you have created this amazing radio platform to help people really be the best that they can be and do business the way it's supposed to be done based well, on relationships. And it's why we surround ourselves with experts such as yourself, Lisa, because you get it. You do have that big vision and a clear intention. You take ex inspired action. You enlist the support of your tribe, as we do, by asking you to come on the show. We all follow through, and we apply and leverage those uh, results. Good stuff today, Lisa. Thanks. It's always so fun to come play with you two. We love having you. Every time I see your name on the on the schedule, um, just I'm excited about about our connection and what you guys do and what you bring to the show. Tell our listeners how they can sign up to receive your newsletter and maybe even come hear you speak somewhere. Absolutely. Well, you can you can get tons of free information on my award winning blog at writeoncreative.com, and that's w r i t e o n c r e a t i v e dot com. I'm actually going to be speaking coming up in, let's, let me think about this. It looks like it's coming up in August in Malibu. And then again, I'll be in Medford, Oregon, speaking at a Lunch and Learn in September. And when, when you go to my blog, you can sign up for my newsletter, Mannion's Musings, and you'll get all the details about where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing. Love that. Third Thursday of every month, you can find Lisa right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. I want to speak at Malibu. Yeah, you do. I do. You do. That just sounds amazing. Doesn't it? Right. we got to stick with Lisa. She'll take well, the places. I'm thinking big and looking up thanks to ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. With absolutely remarkable results, you can get your own results by going to ansceilingcleaning.com. Absolutely. Love that they are here today. Have you looked up to your ceilings yet? They can take really good care of them, and it will brighten your day. We want to encourage you to just look up all a day long. And uh, when you see something you don't like up there, call 303-514-2666. It is our Experience Summer Marketing Campaign Day, where we are encouraging you to keep your summertime marketing going all summer long. Yep. Don't turn out the lights because uh, people go on vacation. They are only gone for a week or two. All right. Uh, we've got to take a quick station, station identification break, but uh, we will be back with more positive business talk after this. We encourage you to do something crazy. Uh, give somebody a 20-second kiss. You know you want one. I'm not talking about locking lips. No, that's gross. We're talking about kindness. It's gross. It's gross. This is why you can't get a date. Kindness is so simple. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720 344 2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com facebook.com slash experience pros and twitter.com slash experience pros what are you waiting for join the revolution bob duco today at three on klz 560 i'll never forget that. I'll forget that moment
It's long time. It's long time. My first call ever as a member of the National Guard. When we got to the armory, they briefed us on the wildfires. They were getting dangerously close to homes. Helicopters were going out to drop water on the fires. Guys in the unit were preparing for firefighting with local fire crews. At that moment, I got my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. It has 66 books and over 31,000 verses, but the Bible has only one game show. This is the American Bible Show. The biggest hit in game show network history is back. You can't phone a friend, Tim. You can call Jesus. You can't watch for the hosts in whole new season of America's favorite family quiz show. Oh, that's great stuff. With Grammy-winning musical co-host Kurt Franklin. Get it! The American Bible Challenge, all new tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Game Show Network. This is the legendary KLZ, AM 560, KLZ HD Denver, and online streaming at 560thesource.com. Since 1922, KLZ Denver. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm John the Master. Your boss, the Attorney General, is a bad witness. Please don't be a bad witness. I'm trying not to be a bad witness. Okay. What happened to those missing Lois Lerner emails? Nobody seems to know, and no straight answers. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa of California asking Deputy Attorney General James Cole for all the documents relating to the investigation into the IRS targeting scandal. Cole won't agree, saying, We will give you information that will allow you to understand the nature of the documents that are not being provided. My understanding is that your boss has been held in contempt because he refused to give us documents related to laws being broken by lying to Congress and the people who knew about it for 10 months. And those internal documents have yet to be produced in spite of the fact that it's before the court two years later. So understand, I don't care about your history. I don't care about anything except the Constitution. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my gold bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the gold bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold bond no mess powder spray cools and refreshes your body. And new gold bond foot powder spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with gold bond. If some crook uses your credit card to spend thousands, you got off easy. That's credit card fraud and your card company likely covers it. But other forms of identity theft are way worse. Identity thieves can target your bank accounts, damage your credit, even drain the equity from your home. Identity theft is such a serious crime. No one can stop it all. That's why you need LifeLock Ultimate. It helps protect you in ways your credit card company alone can't. Get protected today at LifeLock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK. John Rush, today at 2 on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show brought to you by Mass Mutual Colorado. Experience Pros, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that saved my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. It's our summertime marketing campaign, Experience Summer. And, oh, boy, there's a lot of summer experiences going on in the news today. There's a lot of summer experiences oh, going on yeah. in the news today? You know, it's a vacation time. People are traveling, right? Yeah. Did you hear about the guy in uh, San Francisco who uh, is posing as a TSA screener? Is he posing as the TSA screener at the airport? Yeah. And he's like, drunk. And they, they, the yeah, real TSA like, people. Hey, hey, you. <laughs> Come on over and let me pat you down. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I don't. I don't no, buy it's in it. the news. I don't buy it. It's in the news. you got to listen to me. Okay, no, I don't. I, Got a nothing I, I, I because so often we'll hear a news story and it seems so credible, right? Because there's a picture or maybe even a video of something that has happened yep. and it must be true because we saw it on the internet. It has never and then been a news three story days that I later, have brought ever that huh. has not 
true, proven to be true. What? That's not true. That is true. That is not true. Name one. Well, I won't at the moment, but there are several. I don't believe so. Well, maybe they're not. I, we don't ever go back and look at them, but no, so I, often, I do. so often will end up something that we all get outraged about or all get on the bandwagon about or, you know, it kind of goes, it goes viral when we hear these great stories. See, Eric doesn't really share the viral stories. He shares just the stories that nobody nobody else would find ever. Are you kidding because me? Because they're not really that relevant. I share them before Matt Lauer shares them and then Matt Lauer shares them right after me. Um, Come on now. But most of them end up being not true. Jimmy, Fe that's not true. That's true. That no, they're most not. are not hey, true. Hey, you're familiar with the dictators, right? Well, I work with you. Part of the club. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a former dictator. You remember Manuel Noriega, the ex-Panamanian dictator of Panama? Oh, I think we went out on a date once. Mm -hmm. Not. He's filing a lawsuit over his portrayal in the video game Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Oh, everybody's filing lawsuits about, that's my image. It makes that's... me look a little fought. Oh, does it? I don't know. No, he's just he says it's not his they use his name and likeness and uh, he wants a piece of uh, the the billion dollar profits. Oh. Billion dollars. Yeah, but it's not him. Cha ching It's not him. It's a well. It's a it's fictional character. Mm -hmm. Any likeness or resemblance to somebody true in real life is just coincidence. Mm -hmm. All right. Mhm. Mm yeah, for him and Lindsay Lohan too. Come on over here and <laughs> oh, let me pat you down. In the news, San Francisco International. Like that. People don't sound the like drunken that when man drunk. does. They don't sound yes. like that. They don't. People don't do. No. I've got a wand. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't sound like that. It's true. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Nylon's Collision Center is an award winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylon's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Let's face it, gout's a pain. It's not just a pain in the body, it's a pain where it hurts most, your wallet. Gout sufferers miss work because they can't walk or type. Get the Kill Your Gout for Good video-based program right now and end the pain, embarrassment, and loss of income once and for all. Get Burt Middleton's special price offer by visiting his listing on the Extreme Customer Service Directory found online at experiencepros.com. The pain is all you've got to lose. Click on Colorado, search for Burt, that's B-E-R-T, and get the gout out. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit RivieraFinance.com. Hi, ladies. This is Angel, and I want to let you in on one of my favorite fashion secrets. It's my eyelashes. That's right, my eyelashes. I've been going to Carabella Studio for a full year, and ever since then, I've had nothing but compliments on my eyelash extensions from my friend Reggie at Carabella Studio. And my favorite part? No more daily hassle of applying and removing mascara. And all of the compliments I get. Get yours today. Call Carabella Studio today at 303-909-9585. That's 303-909-9585. And to ask for the Angel Eyes offer and get your new lashes for only $150. 303-909-9585. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 2666. Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros radio show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. 
Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. The Dennis Miller Show, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. Hi, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner, New York Times bestselling author and founder of BNI, the world's largest networking organization. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the number one best positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric. The Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where we give love instinctively. And we're inviting you to look up. It's Summertime Marketing Experience Summer. Absolutely. Your Summertime Marketing tip actually comes from our in-studio guest today, Rita Rains with ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. She says it's always handy to have a notepad nearby when listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show so you can keep... Keep track a, of the keep news. Keep track of the news. No, no, not the news. Not the, not the news. Keep I, track of the tips. I've been validated. Keep Charlie, the of, producer, came in and validated my story. Um, Come on Keep now. track of the tips that you hear on the Experience you Pros Radio Show. You can't do it, can you? We're moving on now. Okie dokie. <laughs> Let's talk to Rita Rains of ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Rita, welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Gosh, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, you know, so many people, like like you, we said in the earlier hour, uh, people look down. We get the, uh, the the carpet cleaners and the 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 maid service to come dust off uh, the surface areas in our in our homes and in our offices, but we rarely look up. And when we do. It's like a good tagline. We could do a whole little marketing thing on looking up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I like it. All right. So tell our listeners how fabulous ANS Ceiling Cleaning Restoration is. Oh, we, we um, customer service is very important. We have a lot of repeat customers in over the last nine years that we've done ceiling cleaning. Wow. All right, all right. That's important, I- right? That says that, that you're doing a good job. They come back and they use you over and over again. Exactly. Love, love, love that. Some of the specialties are restaurants, right? Correct. And hospitals, cafeterias. And their kitchens. Uh-huh. Yep. Nice. Very nice. All right. So so uh, 80% of your business is repeat business. Uh, and before you leave, this is kind of a cool thing. When you're out there, you're cleaning the the, uh, the ceilings for uh, your, your restaurants, your hospitals, your uh, office complexes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you Before you leave... You make sure that the business that you're treating, they're ready for business and ready for their customers. So your customer service extends down to theirs as well. Exactly. I I love that. So, Rita, does a lot of this have to happen, I would guess, after hours, or do we have to close down shop in order to have our ceiling taken care of? No, absolutely not. We're always very accommodative uh, to the customer. When, for instance, I'll check in and say, okay, what time does your restaurant chat close down? What time does the hospital cafeteria uh, uh, close? Everybody is pretty much out of done their job. Then we come in, first thing we do is cover everything. The preparation is very important. Oh, yeah, I imagine, because everything's going to fall down, that gravity thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make a big mess, but you cover everything. Exactly. All yes. right, uh, and you do the ceilings, but you also do walls. Uh, mm-hmm. Is that correct? Because you kind of have to, right? They're all connected. One of the things that I found interesting on your website is that you also uh, deal with graffiti removal. Uh, do, you, do you just paint over? Do you, uh, do you use your nanotechnology stuff to clean that, too? Uh, sometimes we use a sandblaster. We have a machine that will weld. Eradicate that graffiti. A sand, I need oh. a sandblaster. Well, then I'm going to go and put some graffiti before you get your sandblaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so, so great stuff. It's ceiling cleaning, uh, ceiling repair. Uh, it says that you do install RFP. What is that? It's the texture on the walls, like in the restaurants. Oh. It's, it's a rough texture. Uh, because, yeah, most of the time when we clean the ceilings, the solution that we use is totally, uh, 
that's been approved by the FDA and the EPA. Okay. So, uh, um, with this, when the solution, the overspray, we use a 50 psi sprayer. Skeeter is uh, um, my husband is on the crew, and we most of the time we do it together with other people. All right. All right. So anyway, with the FRP, you will end up cleaning the grease and the dirt okay. off of that as well. Gotcha. You'll do pan painting and grid work installation. So for a drop ceiling, if uh, if somebody's got those real high ceilings and they want to drop it down, you guys will actually install the grid? Correct. And the tile. You're yes. way more than just uh, cleaning the ceilings. You, you're the full full ceiling package. Correct. Yep. The full ceiling package. Right. Well, we are encouraging everybody to look up today. Look up all day long and then give ANS Ceiling Cleaning Restoration a call at 303-514-2666. Nine years you've been in business. Do you have a, you know, a lot of our listeners are business owners. They're entrepreneurs. Do you have any secret to success you could share with our listeners, Rita? Uh, just being proactive. Uh, my motto is onward and upward. Onward and up. There's, well, there's, that there's upward your title again. right there. Absolutely. Onward and up. We're being proactive. That's how you stay in business for nine years. Correct. I love it. I love it. Let's give some contact information for ANS Ceiling Cleaning. Uh, ANS Ceiling Cleaning dot com. ANS Ceiling Cleaning dot com. And you've got a phone number. Uh, 303 514 2666. That's going to put you right in touch with Rita. Rita has been sponsoring this both hours today for our summertime marketing campaign. What's your favorite summertime marketing tip, Rita, to stay in front of your customers? Just um, you want to be have a clean environment. Yeah. People enjoy coming into your business because it's clean, it smells clean and fresh. Yeah, and, and having it fresh and there's nothing you can't cover. You can't just put air freshener on dirt. Exactly. Exactly right. Yep. Can you make my apartment smell fresh? Yep, sure could. <laughs> she didn't even blink. She She's like, no yeah. Yep, I, I got, got that. that. Angel's like, uh, that ain't never going to happen. <laughs> 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 All right. Couldn't hurt. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Rita Rains, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of the Experience Pros Radio Show today. Thank you very much. Absolutely. When we come back, it's business tips and insights. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Do you want to meet some new people, make some great connections, and network with other business owners? Call me, Penny, today at 303-220-0366 or go to theconnectingexperts.com. Connecting people to people. Make sure your marketing strategy includes search engine optimization and contact Colorado SEO at coloradoseo.com. You'll find a team of experts who have been connecting consumers online since 1996. You've created a commodity, now get found. coloradoseo.com, coloradoseo.com or call 303-990-5934. Remember, billions are searching. Will they find you? Revitalize, release stress, and empower with Karen Corona's healing and transformational programs. Karen is a master healer and a teacher with 30 years experience providing holistic healing treatments, coaching, yoga, meditation classes, and retreats. Receive the healing inner tools you need to achieve your goals. Call Karen today and get started. 303-725-1119. That's 303-725-1119. Mention this ad and receive a free yoga class or a $150 coupon toward her upcoming healing and transformational retreat in October, set in the lovely Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Call today, 303-725-1119, or visit online at karencorona.com. Run a business and have a life. You got into business so you could enjoy life, and Employer Essentials can help. They keep up with the ever-changing payroll and employment laws and requirements, as well as all those employee management issues. Employer Essentials is the answer you've been looking for to add payroll and HR solutions that offer you peace of mind and the time to do what you want to do. Employer Essentials, Denver's trusted local payroll and HR provider for 15 years. EmployerEssentials.com or 303-734-9436. 
If selling is important to your bottom line in business, and it is, then how you sell is more important than what you sell. If your sales approach is old school and outdated, you're leaving money on the table. Sales expert Liz Wendling will absolutely help you update your sales language and transform your sales results. Stop sounding like everyone else in your industry and stand out, not blend in. Liz can show you how. Every minute you delay, you're losing money. Call Liz Wendling today, 303-988-9157, or visit online at EvolvedSelling.com. Are you an expert? At Experience Pros, we feature the best in business, and we're looking for industry experts to share tips with our audience. If you're an expert who offers great customer service and you'd like to be a part of the Experience Pros radio show, click on the radio interview request at experiencepros.com. We want our audience to hear from you. Go to experiencepros.com and fill out the radio interview request and start spreading the news that you're going to be on the radio. Camp Experience has a schedule full of keynote presentations, workshops, networking activities, boutique shopping, spa services, and amazing adventures. Workshops include topics such as leadership, success skills, creative thinking, and optimum health. Sign up at CampExperience.com for a one-of-a-kind annual retreat on September 19th through 21st at Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Sign up today at CampExperience.com. Grassroots Radio Colorado this afternoon at 5 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show here in Denver. We're looking for a little sunshine. You know, all you got to do is tune into the Experience Pros Radio Show because it is your marketing uh, engine. We've got summertime, summertime marketing tips going on all throughout the day. Thanks to the fine folks over at ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. ANSSealingCleaning.com. All right, so your summertime marketing tip is to join a leads group that focuses on relationships. And if you can't join one, start one. If you can't join one, start one. Well, because a lot of times in a leads group, it's one category per industry or, you know, one industry. Right. That, you know, so if you sell. Exclusive. Yeah. You know, if you're a doctor, there's no other doctors. If you're. I can't even think of a category at the moment. Yeah, I just yeah. had like a little brain freeze. Well, no, no problem. If you if you're a reporter, start start. Uh, right. So if there's already a reporter in yeah. the group, you can't join that leads group. And so if you can't join one, start one and get involved this summer. All right. So our biz tip is with Liz Wendling. She's one of our favorite sales coaches. And if you've never heard her speak, seen one of her presentations, or hired her, you're probably leaving a little bit of money. No, no, no. You're probably a leaving a lot of lot money. Of money on the table. You need an expert and Liz Wenling. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you guys. Liz, very nice to have you with us. What are we talking about today? You know, I thought we'd talk about a little karma today, a little business and sales karma and how we really need to start telling the truth to at least to salespeople these days that they're running around trying to make a living and people are lying to them saying, I need to think it over, call me next week, put a proposal together when they really have no intention of ever doing business with that person. And it's time for people to start realizing that they're humans and we should tell them the truth. I like that. I, you mean we can just be honest? Yes. Yes. It's actually refreshing for people to hear that they're not interested or it's not a good time or they're not going to ever buy from them. Really, truly, salespeople would want to hear that earlier then later. Well, they put, you know, when as soon as they hear some of those magic words, you know, they put you in their follow-up system. They're putting time and energy and resources into you, yes. and they're not putting it into somebody else who could be a, a, a new and lie to them, and they say that they don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but the truth is that they really don't want to face the reality of the emotions when you have to tell someone. So thinking about that other person as a human is what really you should try to do these days. I like that. Is there a way, because I think sometimes it comes across in a very rude way, and we still want to maintain the relationship. Are there some key phrases that I can say no 
to your your offer, but I can still say yes to hanging out and networking with you? Well, yeah, and that goes for both the sales to the buyer and the seller, that when you're entering into a situation and maybe a conversation around doing business, we have to be able to say, hey, either decision, a yes or a no is fine with me. I'm still going to like you. Give that person permission to say no to you. And then when you do have to say no to someone, say, I appreciate you and your business, but this isn't right for me. I'm just not feeling it. This doesn't feel like a fit for me, and I'm just going to say no and thank you and be okay with that. Mm. And be okay with it. Be okay with it. <laughs> There's the you know, key you, word. You put that little little piece at the end and, and be okay with it. And, no, and no, 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 no. I'm not saying that you say that to someone. I'm saying that be okay with just saying no. Right. We're no, with you. no, we heard that. Yeah. No, but okay. yeah, absolutely. Um, but in it, because if you're okay with it, it does translate over into into the conversation. It does. It's like, so I say karma because it's just business karma that if you do that to someone and you lie to them, you know it's going to come back and it's going to bite you and somebody's going to do that to you. So why do it to someone when we know it's going to come back to us like a boomerang? And isn't it funny because we'll do, you know, if we'll do something to somebody, but we're like appalled if somebody did that to us, right? <laughs> yes, that's so true. Okay. All right. So being honest and not dragging people along. It's refreshing. Say, I like the say what you mean and mean what you say. And as a salesperson, we're hearing it straight from the, the expert sales coach, Liz Winling. She says that's what they want to hear. They don't want to be. They don't want to be misled, right? That's exactly it. Just tell me the truth, and I can move on. But if you don't tell me the truth, then I'm going to keep calling you, and then you're going to get upset when I keep calling you, but you can't tell me the truth. So it just starts this vicious cycle. And then business owners get mad at salespeople for continuing to get back to them and follow up with them when that's all that someone told them to do. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're a victim of our own uh, commentary. <laughs> exactly. Liz, Liz, how do people find more information about you and what you do? Well, they can find me at LizWinling.com or call me at 303-988-9157. And Liz will come in and transform the way that your sales team is performing, and it is truly magical. Liz, we appreciate you so much. We're well, looking forward to hearing your biz tips next week. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, and our next business tip actually comes from a, a real-life story of what happened to me yesterday. You ready for this? I No. Uh, no. Anytime you're like, my story, this happened to me, I get a little nervous. Why? Well... Really? You have to ask me why? I think so. Because you're usually inappropriate in your stories. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you're usually inappropriate. All right. Well, I'll try not to be inappropriate in this story, uh, but it really did happen to me. Uh, I, I, I got a notice from my printer. You got a notice from your printer? Was yeah. it like a carrier pigeon, a text message? Uh, no, my notice from my printer said, uh, your yellow toner is out. And I needed to uh, replace my, my, yeah, it's not toner, it's ink cartridge. And, and I needed to replace the ink in my printer for my yellow. So I went in. I'm like, okay, all right, wait a minute. So your printer gave you this message. Yes. You're like all excited. My printer's talking to me. This well, is like a normal message, Eric. This I'm, is a normal like, thing that happens. I wasn't all that excited, happens. but I went over and I opened it up. And I, uh, uh, there comes the, the cartridges, and, and I opened them up. And then I reached into the bag, the RMK cartridge uh uh, supplied me with with the, the uh, backup set because that's what you need a backup set of ink and toner cartridges always yes you should always have a backup so you can solve the problem yes absolutely right? so i'm in control here <laughs> there comes the cartridges open it up open up the bag oh man i got the wrong cartridges that's not possible. That's what I thought. That's not possible. That's what I because thought. Because RMK cartridge knows our printer. Yeah. They, we don't like. They, that's not possible. You know what I did? What you I do? took a picture of those cartridges. I took a picture of my printer, and I said to uh, our good friends over at RMK cartridge, I sent them over, and I said, uh, "Excuse me, I got these these numbers 88s, and I don't use the number 88s. I think I use the number 95 or something because it's not number 88, and it's this wrong cartridge, wrong picture, wrong size, whatever." Got a phone call immediately. Immediately? From Matt Skinner over at RMK Cartridge. Did he say, Eric, you're an idiot? Pretty much. <laughs> I was just guessing. <laughs> yeah. So, so were they, they were the right cartridges? Well, he said, uh, you're, you're looking at the print heads. Uh, close the, 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 
the printer. So they were the right. They were the right. Open the door on the left side of the printer. And what do you see there? By golly, there were number eighty-eight cartridges. They were. So they were the right ones. But Uh you immediately are jumping to the conclusion they're wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. It wasn't just immediately. They're wrong. They're wrong. They're wrong. I thought maybe it was accident. Mm. And it wasn't. Oh, there was an accident for sure. Those guys over at RMK Cartridges, they know everything about your printers. They know everything about what to do. And they call you back immediately. And you know something? You need to call them and know them because they bring the color back into your life and save you a ton of green on the way. 303-781-2076. 303-781-2076. Or find them online at rmkcartridge.com. They're located at the southeast corner of Bellevue and Broadway. We do love our relationship with our MK yes. cartridge, and you probably don't give a whole lot of thought to where you buy your ink and toner cartridges, but having them remanufactured, which means they're cleaned up and fixed and not just refilled, but remanufactured at RMK Cartridge. They offer extreme customer service, very reliable. We trust them, and they uh, they answer Eric's stupid questions, so you know they're good people. There's no question is stupid if you if you ask. You're right. With a pure heart. Yeah, right. You. <laughs> They'll take really good care of you and save you a bunch of money in the meantime. Hey, don't forget to keep looking up. The ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration do absolutely remarkable results for your business. You can call today to schedule your free on-site cleaning and restoration estimate. 303-514-2666. And don't forget to look them up on the uh, web as well. ANSSealingcleaning.com. That's ANSSealingcleaning.com. If you've got popcorn, <laughs> get into the 21st century. On your ceiling. Or, oh, I yeah. love popcorn. Oh, sorry. In fact, sometimes I feel yeah, like popcorn. I just need to pop myself some popcorn and watch whatever little antics you're going to perform. What are you talking about? You're, you're quite the show. Listening to Angel and... Quite the show on Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Every business needs money, and yours is probably no different. What's that you say? Your bank backed out on a commitment to you? Our friend Steve Replin has the answers to your financial questions. Steve's new book, Where to Go When the Bank Says No, is the authoritative guide to finding you the money you need now. Where to go when the bank says no. Available right now at hardmoneybooks.com. That's hardmoneybooks.com. Where do you go when the bank says no? Hardmoneybooks.com. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Would you know what to do if a coworker started to feel dizzy and complain of chest pains? Starting CPR while waiting for an ambulance to arrive can double the chance of the victim's survival. Safety Solved can help. We provide customized on-site training, including both professional and basic CPR, AED, and first aid, with American Red Cross and American Heart Association trainings. We also facilitate first aid kit and AED equipment programs. Let us make your safety and wellness programs complete. Call today, 303-257-9589. That's 303-257-9589. Or online at safety-solved.com. Cheers, Experience Pro listeners. My name is Lisa Voss, and I'm the owner of the Denver area Tilt a Kilt Pub and Eateries. I'd like to personally invite you to join us for a quick and delicious lunch at the Kilt. Our food is made from scratch and served in one of the warmest and friendliest establishments in Denver. Join us on Mondays for our $10 steak special or on Tuesdays for our $5 build your own burger with fries. Join us for a lunch at either location, downtown on the 16th Street Mall or in the Denver Tech Center on Bellevue and Ulster. Tilt a Kilt or cold. Cold beer never tasted so good. Three major networks have joined forces to create one epic event to keep your business on track through the summer. On July 31st, join the Connecting Experts, Experience Pros Radio Show, Infinite Nation, and the best professionals in Denver at the Inverness Hotel from 4 to 7 p.m. You'll be networking, connecting, and keeping your goals on track. Vendors can sign up to participate for only $249 by calling Penny at 303-220-0366. 
That's 303-220-0366. And tickets for the Epic Summer Summit are $25. They can be purchased online at infinitenation.com. We'll see you at the Epic Summer Summit on July 31st. When you need a medical expert witness or someone to consult in your medical cases, you need MediPro Solutions. Let's face it, attorneys are busy and typically don't have the time to research the details of the medical aspects of every case. At MediPro Solutions, your medical legal consulting firm, they take care of every detail, leaving you and your lawyers to focus on the law. MediPro Solutions is owned and operated by licensed and board certified physicians. When your case is on the line, call MediPro Solutions, 303-502-6735. That's 303-502-6735. Or online at MediProSolutions.com. Freedom 560 with Ken Clark is coming up at noon on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. Summertime Marketing Experience Somewhere. Brought to you by ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Enter a local contest. Newspapers and local media are great places to start. And right now, the Denver A-List competition is in full swing. That is the truth. Boy, you're bringing all kinds of cool marketing tips. Where are you getting those from? From our book list that saved my business. You can pick up your copy off of Amazon. It is time for our uh, business time with Nick May, owner of Walls by Design. And even though he runs an incredible interior, exterior painting company, it's because of the brilliance behind his business. You know, his business brilliance. He is an entrepreneur. His what? He's an entrepreneur. I don't think I you should it. say that again. I don't, you should say that again. Nick, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Don't don't mind him. No, it's okay. That's all right. Well, if you want me to say it like French people say it, you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> entrepreneur. Very nice to have you along. How with many us. businesses have you started in your lifetime, Nick? Oh my gosh. Um, we don't necessarily have to go there. Oh. Probably <laughs> I don't know, a dozen or so. It's been it's been quite a few. You are a it, true entrepreneur. Love it. Now, Nick, what about you know, I think a lot of times one of the things, you know, we start a business and and we imagine the day that we can Expand, you know, we hire people. It's not always going to be us. Oh, it's uh, it's exciting. Yeah, you've hired a few people. We've I have literally hired hundreds, if not thousands, of folks over the years. I mean, it's uh, it's it's. I wonder how many it actually is. I, I wish I had a count, but a, a lot. There's been a, a lot. lot. Yeah, over the years, probably you know, I've got. 20 years of, of hiring folks. And so do you have some tips and insights for us? I do, I do. You know, I was, the, the reason why, you know, I wanted to talk about this today was we were at the event last night and, and I don't know how we got on the subject, but someone was sharing with me that about 80 some odd percent of, of businesses, of all businesses in the United States, only are solo entrepreneurs. That's a that's significant, but do you know what else I've heard, Nick? Um, our friend Tommy Wolf with the Startup Expert, she says that, because I, I think that statistic is true, 80% mm -hmm. are entrepreneurs, but she says that um, most of the entrepreneurs never make more than $50,000 a year. That's that's incredible. Isn't that I sad? think those two correspond with each other. I think they do. If you're a solopreneur and you're just covering your nut, then uh, you don't have to worry about it. And I think the reason is a lot of people are afraid. They're afraid of taking that next step. They're afraid of, you know, running the taxes and and figuring out how to, to hire folks but there's huge huge rewards I know over the years you guys have gone to bring in lots of folks onto your team and it really frees you up to do what you do best it, it is a scary jump though to mm -hmm. think that you can bring on a, a another mouth to feed so to speak yeah because then you're responsible yes you know we have I think 12 on staff in our company and you know it's it's taken a long time to really figure out how how do you bring somebody on? What's the most effective way to do it? And um, and so I, I wanted to talk a little bit about you know some of the hard things that I've learned over the years. I would love to hear it. Absolutely. You know? So the first thing I would say is you have to be ready. You, and that may sound fairly simple, but you have to look at it in a couple of ways. Will you have enough business if you bring somebody on to continue to stay busy? 
So like in our business, you know, we have cycles and we've been doing it a long, long enough time. We know when the cycles are. When we're going to be busy, springtime is going to be crazy. Then we're going to have a little bit of a lull, you know, in the beginning part of July. And then it gets busy again. And then um, we're a little bit busier in the, in the, right before the holidays. And then we drop off again. Right. You know, so what I don't want to do is... I don't want to go, hey, we're really busy. It's, you know, it's December 10th. Hey, let's go hire three people. Yeah. Y- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, and then, because you're going to end up losing the business uh, right. or, or losing the... The, the yeah. workload that we'll sure. have. Yeah. So it's just you have to think through that strategically. Um, and the other side of it is you need to hire before you're ready for them. And that's kind of the really scary part. I was talking to another um, another guy earlier this week, and, and, and they're, they're crazy busy too. I think they're in the AV space um, and, and they you know this summer has been super crazy busy for them too and we were both saying we're, we got a little bit behind the eight ball this year where we should have hired maybe three or four weeks earlier mm. because now we need them yeah. you know and there's always this ramp up time where you've got to train them and you've got to teach them and that's the other thing I really wanted to talk about because I think that's the biggest area where people fail when they hire you know People will bring somebody on and they'll go, oh, well, go do this. Like, can you, you know, post some stuff online or, you know, go do some sales. You or, for the job. You should know it. Right. And, and, then, they, and then they, you know, a couple weeks go by and then they're mad. They're like, well, you're an idiot. Why didn't you do it like I want you to do it? Right. 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 Yeah. And, and, but the reality is, is you haven't set up the expectations. You haven't trained them accordingly. And so, of course, they're not going to do it the way you want it want to be done. You know, Nick, that takes time out of, you know, if I'm stopping everything I'm doing to train the new person, now now nothing's getting done. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so then the other thing is you need to know, um, I don't know if you guys ever talk about the, um, the E-Myth book. Oh, sure. Yeah. So Michael I Gerber, love that book. I think I've fan. read it like a dozen times or yeah. something. And he talks about hiring the least qualified person for a job. I remember that. And yes. I think a lot of people are, are kind of scared. They're like, well, they're not going to know anything. But the key to that phrase is the least qualified. They're qualified. They're just the least qualified. And so you, what you need to do, and this is what we do at Walls by Design. We have identified the one skill for our painters that we, they need to know. Right. They need to have good hand-eye coordination. So that's how we've, you know, we kind of come to this, we hire they, starving artists. Do they come and have to, like, paint straight lines for you as a like a demonstration as part of their application process? No, but what I do, the first question I ask them, uh, when, when they've answered an ad and they throw them an orange and say, catch. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I ask them, so what kind of artwork do you do? And they're kind of taken aback, and they start talking about, well, I've done, not really done work in art. And, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to hear about the, your artwork. What do you what do you do? And so then some of them kind of light up, and they want to you know they want to go into and then I'm kind of like, well, I really don't want to know all the ins and outs. Of it. <laughs> I just want to know that you're passionate about art, right. and that proves to me that you're just you know you don't just dabble because some guys will come and go, oh well, I'm not really an artist, more so if I'm more of a musician. And I'm like, eh, sorry, that doesn't really work. At, you know, that's not what I'm looking for. Or they may say, you know, I'm more of a digital artist. I'm like, well, mm-hmm. that's, that's, a different skill that's set. great, but yeah. I'm sorry, that's not what we're looking for. And I've met some really great folks, and and unfortunately, I've, I've had to learn the hard way. Mm-hmm. Stick to your guns, Nick. You know exactly what you're looking for. Look for that one piece, and then and then go from there. And so then once you finally find that person that has that, that one basic skill or that, that one thing that you're really looking for, it might be a couple of things, Sure. then you have to have a process that trains them on what to do. So we, you know, everybody in my industry, they all they want to do is hire experienced painters, right? And the problem with that is, they may not have the right kind of painting experience. They may do commercial, they may do industrial, they may do apartment painting. Whereas, you know, the majority of what we do is high-end residential, and so we have to have a certain skill set. And so we like to train them on everything. So we created a system that trains them from, you know, what do you do? What's the first thing you do when you walk in a house? It is the first thing you do when you take walk your in. shoes off. Well, we don't take our shoes off, but we put, put your booties, booties, booties on. on. Yep. Yeah. And we have walk off mats that we put down, and then we have drop cloths that we put out, and then we set up our our shop, is what we call it. And, and so we walk them through exactly what they need to do. And then we created um, we created uh, different um, I don't know what we call them. Um, we have P one, P two, P three. Prep one, prep two, prep three. All right. So different levels. Stations. Yep. Know. And so we only give them three or four things at each stage of the game. Okay, you need to learn how to tape, caulk, put drop cloths down, and, and, and clean a brush. Okay. That's right. your responsibility for your first two weeks. Oh. Like, that's a P1. 
All right, that's very simple. I can master that and move on. Absolutely. Okay. And you need to prove to me that you're going to come to work every day, on time, be excited, and listen and learn. That's what you need to do for the first two weeks. That's a P1. If you can do that at the end, then there's a test. Our project manager, Ryan, puts them through, and they have to pass that test in order to move on to a P2. Wow. And so they're, but they also know then they're moving along, they're kind of being rewarded for Absolutely. the behavior and all of that. But the other thing is, is if they fail along the way as a P1, my business is not impacted. Mm. Good point. How often do you hire somebody, you start putting all this trust in them, and then they're like, well, they just didn't show up. Or, I, you know, they just, you know, didn't just, they didn't perform, yeah. or they didn't act like I wanted them to act, or, you know, and so it's it's little tests along the way, and then and then it goes to P2, when you do the same thing, add more things, and they te test at the end, and, and it's slowly introducing them to our, our system and our business. So then once they've gone through all of that, and you've invested so much in them, Nick, um, what did, how, how do you deal with the turnover? Is, do you less is is that lessening the turnover? I think it does. Um, we don't have nearly as much turnover as we used to, but we still get it. Sure. You know, people leave. I mean, I you know, we've hired hundreds, if not thousands, of people. We've had, and I think you and I talked offline. You know, what happens when they go and start their own thing? Right. And, and right. you know, painting is a very low barrier to entry. So sure, it happens. My feeling is, I want to make sure I'm getting value where you're working for me. If you leave at any time, I would love to have uh, a little bit of notice. <laughs> But I'm never going to be that guy that gets mad that you're going to leave my company. Because if you have a, gr a better opportunity somewhere else, I'm excited for you. you, bet. you I'm bet. happy. You know, I've treated you well while you're at our company. So Nick, and they'll we, talk well of you. And they will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love uh, you bringing your tips together uh, here on the show. We, we enjoy coming uh, you coming into the studio and sharing that with us. Where can our listeners get in touch with you? And we've talked a little bit about your business by by a roundabout way. Walls by Design. How do we connect with you? Well, online at wallsbydesign.com. Lots of good information there. Videos, information, all sorts of things. And then um, you call us at eight four four Paint Colorado. I'll tell you what, I called 844 Paint Colorado, and Nick was the one who came to my house and gave me my walkthrough and my estimate. You, I, I can't pick colors, color that's like not my thing. You made that so easy. I was, I was just shocked when we picked out the color, and you're like, that's it. I'm like, that's it? That was so easy. That was so quick and painless, and... You were just on top of it. I you were able it. to visualize it with the big squares. I know. He had big, giant paint squares that he put up on the wall and next to my carpet. I could see it. Wallsbydesign.com, 844-PAINT-CO, Paint Colorado. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, guys. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We come back. Colorado National Guard is up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Testosterone therapy, we've all heard about the benefits, but which method is safe? Hi, this is Dr. Gary Donovitz. At BioT Medical, we've developed the most effective way to balance your hormones. And unlike synthetic shots, gels, and creams that come with many negative and dangerous side effects, bioidentical natural testosterone pellets are safe and beneficial to the heart, bones, brain, and prostate. Go to BioTMedical.com. That's B-I-O-T-E Medical.com. BioT, the right choice, the safe choice. Leaders, listen up. You want to get the very best from your people, and See It Thrive can help. Address personnel challenges with confidence and unleash the best performance out of your organization, team, or individuals. See It Thrive helps you realize the possibilities of your team coming together as an unstoppable force. Reduce conflict and empower transformation. Because you work with people, make the courageous choice to See It Thrive. Call Sue Kenfield today at 303 791 2807. That's 303 791 2807. Discover and sign up for upcoming workshops at seeitthrive.com. Networking is full of myths. Bring lots of business cards. Be sure to meet at least 10 new people. Have your 30 second sales pitch ready. Ugh. Your network is your net worth, but only if you're networking with your A team. Take the guesswork out of your networking by joining Extreme Relationship Management. It's transforming the way people are networking. It's way more fun than drive-by networking and doesn't waste your time handing out stacks of business cards. Check out ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com for their next event. ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. 
Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50 percent savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals, and if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out, and if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Grassroots Radio Colorado this afternoon at 5 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric, where we are doing summertime marketing. It's right. It is the Experience Summer Campaign. And we've got marketing tips just for you. Absolutely. Brought to you by ANS Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Give them a call at 303-514-2666. And so write a product or book review on Amazon or online and give some reviews and testimonials. Even some of those LinkedIn testimonials where you go, your brand follows. Absolutely. Great summertime tip. It's time to talk to the Colorado National Guard. We love having them come in once a month and sharing with us what's going on in their world. Yes, Captain Darren Overstreet always brings us some really fun guests. Captain, welcome to the show. Thanks, guys. I'm always glad to be here. Captain, what uh, what, are, what are we bring in today? Well, a lot of times we talk about uh, the things we're doing in the Colorado National Guard. Well, today I've brought you some of the people who do the things in the Colorado National Guard. We have Tech Sergeant Curtis Hansen. He's a, a special forces, excuse me, a security forces member from uh, the Colorado Air National Guard. And we have Timothy Bjorklund, Staff Sergeant. He's a an administrative specialist with our special forces unit in the Colorado Army National Guard. So both these guys could basically snap my neck just by looking at me. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, nice. welcome so much. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thanks for being here today. Uh, now, one of the things Darren says is that you guys are citizen soldiers. So, Sergeant Bjorkman, what does that mean to be a citizen soldier? Well, uh, what does it mean to be a citizen soldier? Um, holding down civilian jobs, working in the civilian world, and yet being able to uh, serve the community. And now, now do you have a civilian job? Uh, Currently, right now, I'm actually serving as an AGR, which is an active guard member. I work okay. full-time for, gotcha. for the guard. Uh, but, yes, I have worked as a guard member, as a uh, citizen soldier before, yes. Very cool. Very cool. And, uh, Sergeant Hansen, uh, you used to be a Marine. That's correct, sir. And then you came back in to uh, serve in the Air Force Re Reserve or National Guard? Uh, the Air National Guard. I had an extended break in service and... Uh, was talked into coming back in. That's been a great choice for me. Well, God bless you for your service, man. We appreciate that. What um, what defines what makes up a good citizen soldier? I think that uh, the best thing that a person can have to be a citizen soldier is balance. Uh, in order to balance their civilian life and their family, along with uh, being able to, you know, put on a uniform a couple days a month and. Uh, you know, be proficient both in the civilian side and the military side. I think that's very impressive because you do, you kind of manage two different roles. And so how do you, how do you balance it out? How do you just play real guy and then go and play army on, you know, army guy on the weekend? It takes a, it takes a mature adult. I mean, uh, my experience is in the, uh, in the guard, the, uh, the best soldiers we have are all soldiers that, uh, 
know how to keep the civilian life in check, make good decisions, uh, education, um, taking care of their families. That's priority number one for most of our soldiers. And if they can't do that, it really affects their careers on the, on the military side. So it takes a well-rounded individual to do the job. Well, and it sounds like it. So do you, do you have children? I do. You do? Two kids, Jenna and Ryan. And uh, my wife is very supportive, uh, Tara. Um, she's very involved with the unit and stuff like that. So um, it makes my job easy uh, being able to balance civilian and military. Now, Sergeant Hanson, when you say uh, she's very involved with the unit, what does that mean? Is she is she also uh, a citizen soldier? No, she's just my spouse, but um, she's involved with the Airmen and Family Readiness Group program, and um, she donates a lot of a lot of her own time to uh, benefit the members of our, our unit and uh, raise funds and, and things like that. You know, I think that a lot of times we do. We see you in uniform, and, and it's, but it really is your whole family that is involved, right? Oh, yeah. Um, in all honesty, I think my wife's job is harder than mine by far, more difficult. Uh, the, the, the spouses, they deal with the headaches. Oftentimes, we deal with the fun. So, <laughs> so, so then how do you, how do you respond to that? I'm to say it's fun. Uh, does, um, <laughs> I'm not a ranger, are, but yeah. What are some of the things Sorry. that you then, um, I don't know, how do you, how do you calm that down at, at home? I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? How do you how do you deal with that and make her feel good about what you're doing, even though you're going out and having the fight? And you said she has. In all headaches. honesty, the the National Guard is taking care of my family unbe unbelievably well. Um, my wife loves the fact that I serve. She loves what we do. Um, the benefits to her are amazing as well with co health coverage and things like that. They have taken care of us. They've also recognized her. My unit is a very uh, um, family driven unit. They take care of their own, uh, and uh, the amount of situations that have come up that I've seen that uh, the unit has had to circle around our families and uh, cut mow lawns or move people from house to house and things like that when we're not around. It is fun Great to see the whole to community come together and to support each other yeah. and within within the guard but it's also nice to, um, those that are not participating in the military you've got if you live just in a neighborhood and probably even your employers and in, you know where you work they come together and and lift you up and support you so uh, Sergeant Hansen what is it that you want the public to know about about the Colorado National Guard and what it takes to to be a citizen soldier um, one thing that I was thinking about coming in here is um, I think in the past it used to be uh, employers would look at it as a burden to employ a, a guard member. Um, nowadays, I think that with the training and, and skills that our guard members have, um, you know, giving that person up two days a month is uh, is a blessing, you know, because not only do you have somebody that's technically proficient, but they're responsible enough to balance two careers. And um, It's an honor uh, to, to employ a citizen soldier. And Sergeant Bjorklund, a parting thought for you? Well, I'd, I agree with Sergeant Hansen here, uh, to, uh, to hold down those two different jobs as well as the benefits, the, uh, the training the guard member has. And, I mean, the, the guard members are also bringing the civilian education that they're having. So I'm very proud to serve with the soldiers we serve with because the professional side they bring from the civilian side, the experience they bring from the civilian side coming into the active side and working for the military is, a, is definitely a blessing. So. Well, don't let it be a burden to hire a guardsman. Uh, what you gain far outweighs any of the challenges that are there. Captain Overstreet, thank you so much for our guest today. You guys always do a great job with us. Appreciate it. Take care. Uh, very, very nice to have you. And, of course, we would be remiss if we didn't thank ANS. Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration, absolutely remarkable results. You can uh, call them today and schedule your uh, free on-site cleaning and restoration estimate. 303-514-2666, ANS, Ceiling Cleaning and Restoration. Make sure you look up today. Uh, so thrilled to have the Colorado National Guard in with us every every month. And, you know, I think a lot of times uh, as business owners, we are looking to hire. And, you know, you hear kind of just the chatter of, you know, but they're gone a little bit. Don't oh, let that be a burden. Stop that. Absolutely. Keep really? them employed. They do such a good job for us. And uh, they bring so many, so many talents and skill sets to, to the workplace. Yeah. Absolutely. Freedom isn't free, but uh, you certainly can help and do your part. Well, another great show in the can. We want to thank you for tuning in to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where every day it is our stated mission and accomplished goal of giving you nothing but the best in business. And so we want to make sure that you know that uh, – oh, we're on baby alert, by the way, folks. Uh, Ariane <sighs> Teeler Gold is in, in the house – or Gold Teeler, I should say, is in the house. That means no baby yet, but we'll let you know. It's going to happen tomorrow, pretty sure.
Oh, well, it is happening tomorrow. She's being induced tomorrow, and so baby, baby Gold Teeler and me have the exact same, same birthday. Same birthday. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we girl. gotta go, folks. But thanks for listening. Don't forget to give somebody a twenty-second kiss, because you know you want one. That stands for kindness. Is so simple. Fan Bragan Friday tomorrow. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the...